Good morning, folks. We've got a couple articles to hit today. We'll watch the last 24 hours on our star several ways. The biggest news may be what's not here. We saw several filaments erupt in the opening sequence. The bigger one facing Earth stayed stable. We're actually taking either a small stealth CME or co-rotating interaction region this morning, which we'll see in the solar wind. And while it appears we've got many active regions, they all lack significant sunspots. Filaments remain the eruptive watch today. Now, this hitch in the solar wind data top left panel is the enhancement to the stream we're getting just this morning, the last few hours. Dense but super slow, which tells us it is a subtle event. But look next to it at ACE. Folks, I've waited a couple days so as to not jump the gun, and they may bring it back online, but for now, it appears the more than two decades old satellite is not returning data anymore. If true, this would leave us with only one Earth monitoring satellite for the solar wind, Discover. Let's hope it comes back this week. Folks, we have yet another confirmation of the volcanic aspect to the global electric circuit. Turns out that even small eruptions produce an electrical signature that can be monitored by even storm detectors. Low pressure cells, earthquakes, large lightning events, and volcanoes. These are the ways the Earth breathes that energy back out, the discharge of the capacitor. This one puts a lot of weight on questionable timing measures, but its look at Dansgaard Oeschger events highlights three lesser well known citations which actually tell a more extreme story of the Dansgaard Oeschger events 10 to 16 degrees of warming in a couple decades. And it's happened thousands of times in Earth's history, so. The notion that the modern one degree of warming in over a century is some kind of record is false, asinine, a shilling lie to further a fake politicized paradigm. And last but not least, folks, I feel like it's beating a dead horse with how often I say their names for stellar events are silly and should just all be classified as different kinds of nova events. At least until I read something like this, then it's like someone brought the horse back to life for another go. Nova-like? No. Just Nova. But yes, folks. Observer Black Ops Professor is on the author list and wanted to make sure we didn't miss this one. Thanks, buddy. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.